Here we go. Josh FPV, picking Josh FPV's question first for two reasons. Number one, Josh FPV is in the Discord. That means he's a patron. And uh, also his name is Josh, which, I, which I'm partial to. Um, <clears throat> I have enough spare parts to build a second Caddx GoFilm quad other than the motors. Caddx Spine and Fly comes with 1303 6000 KV. I have four extra 1404 4533 KV. So are these too big for two inch props? So the motors are bigger. But that's not the reason they're inappropriate for two-inch props. The reason they're inappropriate for two-inch props is the KV. So the way that motor KV works, and p pardon me if you already know this, some people will, but just in case, because there's always people out there who don't know something, battery voltage times KV equals motor RPM. In reality, the motor will attempt to make that RPM, but there will be drag and friction and other losses and the actual RPM it makes will vary. But basically, battery voltage times KV equals the RPM the motor will try to make. The smaller the prop, the higher the RPM it needs to spin to make thrust. Big props spin slowly and make a lot of thrust because they're moving a lot of air. But if you try to spin a big prop quickly, two bad things will happen. Number one, it will just take a lot more energy because that big surface area creates a lot of drag. And number two, when the tip of the prop reaches about 80% the speed of sound, bad things start to happen. Number one, the prop gets a lot less efficient. And then as it gets up from 80% the speed of pounds to 95 to 99, somewhere between 80% and the speed of sound, really bad things start to happen. You get all these non-linear laminar flow, I don't know the sound barrier you get a sonic boom at the tip of the prop and then it, the prop explodes more or less so if you think about it at a given rpm how fast is the tip of the prop moving through the air well the larger the diameter of the prop the faster the prop tip is moving and that's another reason why larger props have to spin at a lower rpm the ceiling of a prop's rpm is dependent on its size so your problem is that you have 6,000 kV motors. Now, the Caddx GoFilm runs on a 3S battery. Is it a 4S? Hang on, let's check. I just want to double check to be sure. Ooh, bah, bah, bah. Battery, battery, battery. Hello, 650 milliamp hour battery. Yeah, you recommend a 650 milliamp hour battery. What? Voltage. What voltage? 4S. Okay. So that's designed for a 4S. Let's do the math. I'm not going to put it on screen, but I'll just trust me. 4S times 4.2 volts per cell. 16.8 volts. 6,000 kV times 6,000 kV is 10,800 RPM. That's the nominal RPM that the motor wants to make on that prop. 10,800 RPM. You're going to take a 4533 motor. Well, you see what's going to happen? 4533 out of 6,000 is 75%. You're only going to make 76,000 RPM. And you're going to get less thrust. Now, that quad will probably fly with 25% less RPM, but it won't be ideal. Those bigger motors are designed for a bigger prop, and that's why they're a lower KV. Could you make a 1404 6000 KV motor? Yes. But, but, but probably, this is the decision that the engineers have made, that motor would be too big. Okay? Let's dig, let's dig a little deeper, because I think this is a fascinating topic. Just a little deeper, because we're going to spend 20 minutes on one question. Or maybe we will. The bigger the motor, the more torque the motor makes. That's a good rule of thumb. The bigger the prop, the more torque you need to spin the prop. Could you make a big, gigantic 1507 motor at 6,000 kV that would spin a two-inch prop? Yes, you could. But that motor, you don't, you, it would have way more torque than it really needs. And therefore, it would have a ton of extra weight. That prop wouldn't even make enough thrust to get that motor off the ground. The motor would have a lot of extra 
weight. It wouldn't be as responsive. So the idea with motor design is you get a motor that is big enough to provide you enough torque to spin the prop, and then you pick a KV that makes the prop spin fast enough to make thrust, and that's how you do it. That 1404 motor is designed for a larger prop. I don't know exactly what prop it might be. It might be a two and a half inch or a three inch prop, right? So no, I wouldn't do what you're proposing. If you did do it, you would have heavier motors and you would make less thrust because you'd be spinning at a lower RPM and the whole thing probably wouldn't fly ideally.